First up on our list is the clipped planchet. Imagine a coin with a missing piece, that's exactly what a clipped planchet looks like. During the cutting process of coin blanks, occasionally, a piece of the planchet is unintentionally clipped off. This can happen due to equipment malfunctions or human error in the minting process. While these errors might seem like imperfections, collectors value them highly. The rarity and uniqueness of a clipped planchet make it a sought-after addition to any collection. Some clipped planchets can fetch significant prices in the market, especially if the missing portion is substantial. This is 1971 S Silver Eisenhower dollar with 15% straight clip. Graded as PR66 Cameo by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, a straight clip between 9 and 12 o'clock affects the Libé and one do. The portrait and eagle are fully intact. When a planchet cutter is miscalibrated, it can punch out planchets along the edges of the strip. Proof coins struck on clipped, incomplete, planchets are usually discovered at the mint by quality control specialists and sent to the smelter. This is a brilliant and pristine specimen with nicely frosted motifs. It was sold for $2,640. Next in line, we have the split planchet. Picture a coin with a dramatic split running through its surface. This occurs when the planchet, or the coin blank, experiences a crack or split before or after strike. The descriptive terms split before strike and split after strike are used to distinguish the respective types. This flaw can result from the metal composition, temperature variations, or even impurities in the coin alloy. Here is 1916 Buffalo Nickel mated pair with split planchet after the strike. Graded as AU58 by NGC, finding both halves of a mated pair error such as this is a rarity in numismatics. The obverse and reverse of this piece are perfectly matched with a satiny texture to the finish and original toning in warm silver gray. Most design elements are boldly struck, and there are no post-production blemishes of note. This lot ended up selling for $810. Now, let's talk about the lamination flaw. Unlike the other errors, lamination flaws occur when layers of a coin's metal peel away, creating a distinctive pattern on its surface. This can happen due to impurities or inconsistencies in the metal, leading to a separation between layers. These errors are often highly valued by collectors for their visual appeal and rarity. The more pronounced the lamination flaw, the higher the demand, and subsequently, the higher the value. Here is 1921 piece dollar with obverse lamination. Graded in MS65 NGC. This high-relief piece dollar features a small vertical lamination at the back of Liberty's jawline. The rest of the coin is fully brilliant and frosty with minimal ticks or marks. Strike definition is strong for the issue with only minor softness over Liberty's ear, as always. It was sold for $2,280. As we wrap up today's episode, remember that the world of coin collecting is filled with hidden treasures, and planchet preparation errors are among the most captivating. Whether it's a clipped planchet, a split planchet, or a lamination flaw, these imperfections tell a story of the coin's journey through the minting process. So, keep your eyes peeled and your collection growing. God's will, see you in the next episode. Bye.